Today we are going to cover a topic from chapter number 2, Hello There, and the topic is Formal and Informal Language from page number 33 of Student's Book and subtopics are writing an email and writing an email to a friend and it will come in informal writing. Here some objectives of today's lessons are by the end of the lesson, students will be able to identify formal and informal language, differentiate between formal and informal email, recognize the structure and format of writing an email, compose an email by themselves. Dear students, there are two methods of writing, formal and informal. I'll tell you briefly about the both types. Formal writings can come into professional writings and in professional formal writings, slang language cannot be used, common errors like spelling errors, punctuation and grammar errors etc. are not acceptable in this type at all. Formal letters, emails, forms, job application, uh, these all things are uh, examples of formal writing. Then we have informal writing and in uh, informal writing we write to our friends, family and close relatives. It can contain slang language, perfect style and short form of spellings too. Uh, so the opening and closing is also can be different in both types. Okay, firstly I will tell you that what an email actually is. Electronic mail or email is a method of exchanging messages between people using different electronic devices like computers, laptops, mobile phones, tablets, etc. You can say that this is a modern form of letter writing. Here are some main differences between formal and informal email. In formal email, there is a proper uh, beginning and ending pattern. You will write dear sir, respected madam. In the beginning and uh, respectively regards in the ending of the email, message starts courteously. Closing with the courteous line and the signature of the sender, you have to write the full name in the formal email then con uh, contractions cannot be used contractions are short form of verbs that will not use in this type of email now i'll tell you about informal email there is no need uh, of proper pattern opening informally with hi or hello closing with first name or initials you uh, don't need to write a proper name then con uh, contractions can be used like how are you where are you so the, uh, these are some main differences between uh, formal and informal email. Today our topic is writing email informal. Here you can see format of an email. It can be used for both types, formal and informal. For writing an email, you must have an email address. First of all, it will be date and as it is electronic mail, so it will be written automatically. Then in front of from, the email address of sender will be written here. And in front, uh, front of two, in this clock, the email address of receiver will be written, means to whom the email is being sent. In front of subject, you can write the purpose of writing the mail. Then you will start writing email. The opening may depends to whom you are writing the email and who is your receiver. Then after the completion of your email, there will be closing of that. You can write according to your choice. For example, regards, thanks and other greetings, whatever you want to write. And at the end, you will write your name or uh, your signatures. After defining the format, here a sample of email is being given so that you can understand clearly that how to write an email and this is informal as it has been written to a friend. 
firstly date has been written then even address of sender like alia333 at gmail.com then the most important thing is address of receiver like to aisha123 at gmail.com after that subject it is your choice either you want to write it or not in informal informal in uh, mails you have to write this but in informal emails it's up to you then the greetings and what your email will be written as you can see a friend is saying congratulation her, her friend for getting first position in examination then in the closing you must write your name before you can write a card thanks your friend etc so this was the complete sample of writing an informal email Okay, open page number 33 of your student's book. In this page, the concept of formal versus informal email has been given that we have already covered during this lesson. So, here is an email. By reading this email, we will be able to do all the activities because these are related to this paragraph that is in the form of email. So, give two minutes to yourself and read this paragraph. Then, we will do all the activities. Those are related to this. Okay, if you have read the activity number two is read Yasir's email to his teacher and which photo best shows what the email is about here three photos has been given so you can choose a best photo that is describing that uh, is uh, connecting to the email so the option B will be the correct answer then after that here are some questions in activity number three read the email again answer the questions what is Yasir's main reason for the email so the answer is he wrote email for requesting the internet access in all classrooms of school second question is what are the advantages of Yasir's idea so answer is according to him it may be helpful in using digital devices for study in better way and it can improve English too Question number three is what may be a problem with this idea? So answer is it may be expensive. Question number four is what does Yasir ask Mr. Settle to do? He has asked that his idea should be discussed in the meeting of school council that is going to be held next week. Activity number 4 is complete the table with the words in bold in Yasir's email and the expressions in the box. So, here are some phrases and words have been given in bold form in Yasir's email. We have to categorize them in formal and informal expressions. I have solved this table for your convenience. Just look at this. In formal expressions, we have words regarding I would like to suggest that we in addition however i um, i would be grateful if you could discuss this your sincerity and in informal expressions why don't we also but can you please talk about this and all the best activity number five is answer the questions does yasi use full or contracted verb forms in this email why so answer is yes yasir uses full form of verbs second question is what kind of uh, verb forms do we usually use in informal emails answer is that we usually use contracted form of verbs in informal emails activity number six is imagine you are yasir rewrite the email in exercise two to your best friend Karim. So here are some expressions that you have to use while writing email to your friend. Keep the ideas the same. Use informal language. Use the words and expressions in excess for in your email. Use contracted verb forms. Make any other changes that you think are necessary. For example, everyone in grade 10 has we have all got. So you will write email by adopting these suggestions and it will be your home task. Here is your follow-up activity that you have to do in your home assignment. 
and that is a right email to a friend it can be of your choice that on this topic you want to write hope so that everything has been clear to you now for writing an email and uh, you will not have any confusion with guiding structure and format of email so follow it and do your home task Okay student, that's enough for today's lesson. Hope you have understood each and everything. See you in next lecture. Thanks for listening. Good afternoon.